G'day guys, welcome back. We're doing another bloom spin. All right, uh, today, uh, pinks and greens. I haven't done a pink and green yet, so I'm going to do that. It's actually the colours of my group challenge at the moment, my Facebook group challenge. If you're not already a member of uh, Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie, feel free to join. Just join as yourself, not as your business. That's all I ask. Uh, now, the colours. We have got um, two greens. I've actually got a darker green as well, that one. I haven't got the bottle for it though, I forgot to get it. So anyway, three shades of green. Uh, what's that one say? Brilliant green and light green. And then I've got two pinks, a light pink, which is the brilliant magenta and purple matter. It's, I know it's, it's, it says purple, but it's kind of a pinky purple. So hopefully that will work. Um, and then we've got, as our metallic, we've got pale gold and then there's black as usual. So we've got quite a lot of colours. I don't normally use this many, but I wanted to have uh, a couple of greens and a couple of pinks. So we'll do that. And I've still got my two to one cell activator made up. So I'll use that. And that is the two parts Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam white, titanium white. So I've got that already made up the two to one that I used in my last pour, the one I struggled with so much, two to one. Uh, so yeah, I'll use it up. Two to one, three to one. There's not a lot of difference in it really. Uh, I like either. Right, so let's start. This tin's nearly empty, so hopefully I'll get enough. Oh, get off there. Hopefully I've got enough in here. Otherwise I've got some more in my litre bottle there. Seems to be enough. Give it a bit of a spread. Not too much because you're going to lose most of it when you spin anyway. So just do that. Give it a bit of a spin. Pour a little bit more out into the middle to act as a pillow for our colours. Right. Now, hopefully, I don't have to do this more than once. <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to open the lid. I don't have time to be taking all the lids off green mm. and then i wanted to do the purple madder and what else did i want i can't decide whether to do which green to put next to the pink at the top I might go the lighter one the, the lime we'll put some of this green down and then our gold it's a pale gold i don't want it to take over too much i don't know that i'm using enough paint here normally i pour it out yeah i take the lid off and i pour it out so i tend to get a little bit more paint i have to do a couple of layers because this is not enough let's put some more Pink around the outside as well and maybe a little bit more of the, the green a little bit of the purple matter mm. a little bit more of the pink just over the top right, hopefully that's enough Now I've got a spoon. You know, last time I poured this out and I got too much. So let's see if I can just put it on with a spoon. Go around twice. I just hope I've got enough paint there. As I said, I normally, you know, take the, the tops off. And I know how much to put on, but hopefully this is enough. Gently, gently blow the white over the top. Oh dear, look at that. I 
I've been struggling with my blows lately. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting a little bit, I might be a bit too close. Let's have a look and see what these colours are going to do. It's not too bad. It's just a bit of a wiggle there where the, the air's kind of made a bit of a, a loopy thing there. Just wait for that to come back into the middle a little bit. I've got one area there that doesn't have much in the way of lacing. I'll see how we go with the colours here. I may have to adjust them a little bit. But we'll see how it goes. I wanted a really nice bright pink and like lime green. So this dark green, it may not work. We'll see what happens. Okay, that should be just about right <laughs> oh look there's a little face look two little eyes and a nose <laughs> okay let's give this a spin and see what happens i'm gonna dirty my lovely clean interior of my puppy bath my doggy bath does everyone did everyone go and get a doggy bath i'll put the details up about them all right let's go Woohoo! i love that bit it's my favorite bit oh it is looking quite dark isn't it Oh, got a lot up here and look at that. I have to get all that off. Go the opposite way. That was two. Oh, I still need to get some off here. Mm, that purple matter is not really doing it for me. And the dark green. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a, more of a lime. Might have to take the purple matter out and that dark green out. It's not quite what I was after. It's pretty though. It certainly is pretty. I need to get a little bit more off here. It's a little bit muddy up there. Where I blew a little bit too hard and the colours kind of blended. A little bit more just off here. Oh, that is amazing. Look at those colours. Those are so pretty. It wasn't what I was wanting, but maybe now that I see it, maybe it is something I want. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, again, wasn't expecting that. I had no idea. I haven't done a test in these colours, but oh, wow, that's really pretty. Especially this here that lighter area coming through with the pink that's really pretty look at that one pink cell just there hello well um that's that's a keeper i'm calling that one done where's my little spatula there it is maybe i'll do another one further down the track in um just a pale pink and a lime, which is what I initially was planning on doing, pale pink and lime. And then I thought, oh, it's going to be too light. I have to throw in a dark pink, which is the purple matter, and a dark green. I've got a little bit of lime coming through. But, um, yeah, that's, that's quite, quite exquisite, those colours. So that is a keeper. It's just uh, stuck. Pop him down here. I would never have thunk, <laughs> never have thunk that those colours would have worked. Okay, now let me just move this real quick and I'll get set up for my little one. Um, I will do a, um, a lime and pale pink at some stage. Is that focused? Let me just put that next little section down. Um, put down one of these just so that this area doesn't get covered in paint and then I can use it again for my cake stand. And I've got some tape on the bottom of that and on the top so hopefully that will sit there. And then my little coaster which has got the frog tape on the back. It can sit there, press him down. Look at that, ready to go. Let me just make sure you're in focus. I could probably zoom you in a little bit more actually. Might as well get up close and personal. 
What do you reckon? All right. Now let's see if I can get a matching little baby. Oh, I'm so impressed that I only had to do that one once. Woohoo! After that last video, I won't have to do it five times. Something just going there. Felt like something just went in there. Right, now I've still got the little nozzles on. Just put a little bit of the green. Purple matter. Lime. Gold. Black. Oh, don't fall down into the paint and make a mess. I have to get some tape. A little bit of black. A little bit of lime. And then the pink. And then for this one, because I'm doing just a little coaster, I need to use my barbecue fan blower. It's no point using the big guy. It'll just splash everything away. Whoops, you're not even open. So this is three to one. Cell activator, because my little blower is not very powerful, um, he won't be able to really blow a two to one consistency. You can only do a three to one. And just gently blow over. See, it's so easy when you're doing these little guys, just blowing that white over the top the other colours. Okay, hopefully there's enough. It looks very dark, doesn't it, over here? We'll have to see what that looks like once it's spun out, but at the moment it's very dark. That dark green and the dark, the purple matter. I may have to do this one again. Just give that a minute. I have to get some masking tape and tape up my sides again. Well, you can't see it, but my pedal pads are falling in with the weight of the paint at the bottom there. Oh, how's it looking? Hmm, very dark, very dark. I'll probably do this one again, but let's spin them anyway and just see. Oh, still, little puppy petal pad. See, I can't see any of the pink at all. I've got a lot of purple matter and a lot of the dark green. which doesn't really match its mummy. Can someone come and hold this down here for me, please? <laughs> Give me a hand so I can spin. Okay, like it's pretty, but my pink's gone. So it really doesn't match. Oh, actually, you know that one? Just looking at the one on the floor there, there's really not much pink on it either. Hmm. Um, no, I'm going to go again. Because it's only a tiny little bit of paint, isn't it? Actually, I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. I'll just flick the paint over there. There we go. Flick him over. All right. Not much paint to lose. I'll go again. Spread that out. Okay, now the tiniest little bit of green, I think. Just a tiny little bit of the green, tiny little bit of the purple matter. <laughs> you can hardly see it. All right, lime, a bit more of the lime, some gold. Just doing a puddle here, it's too small. I'll do a little bit of a ziggy-zaggy just there. <clears throat> a little bit of white to get straight onto it before it sinks too much. All 
let's give that a minute. Wait for this to come back down. It's very green. Again, where's my pink? I don't know. <laughs> I put pink on top and I can't see it. Maybe once it's spun out, I'll be able to see it. <clears throat> I keep looking at the one that's down there on the floor. And um, I can only see a little tiny little bit of pink. <clears throat> Maybe the... No, they're both semi-transparent. Okay. Let's spin it. Nothing to hold on to. Oh, no. Ew! Ew! You're no good at all. First one was better. Can I have my first one back, please? All right, I can't believe I'm struggling with the little one now. Okay. Um, let's put some pink down first. And then a little bit of green. Because your bottom colour and your top colour are usually, usually, the most, um, what's the word? You can see the most. <laughs> A little bit of black. I don't know where all my lime's gone. Let's put more pink on there. Okay, and some white. Pretty good blow. I got right out to the edges on that one. Pretty good. I can see pink. I can see lime. So hopefully this one will work. I'm just going to climb up, make sure that you're still climb up my little ladder. Yep, still good. All right, this one's looking a little bit more brighter. More bright. Let's go. Oh, so annoying. What do I do to stick this down? I'll just hold that there. Looks a bit like a kaleidoscope colours. see it but these the lacing here it's got black around it that looks really pretty just trying to get this bottom bit off here can't spin it though because it's all slippery I <laughs> can't grab hold of it oh my gosh No, oh, it's still there. Look at that little bit there. I just can't, I can't spin that little bit off. Um, what about if I try and, I'm going to take the little coaster off and see if I can just tip it. Well, this is where I generally stick my fingers in it on the sides, which is not good. Okay. I just do that to stop it from falling off. See if I can get that little bit of that pink bit there that doesn't really bother me. It's just this little strip of purple down the bottom here that's bothering me. Is it going? Can you see? Oh, it's 
It's not really going anywhere. We'll drop it in a second. Just got that little palette knife there just to stop it from falling. And it's not like I've got my finger in it. So it's not going to make too much of a, a mess on the side. It's just a little thin, narrow edge there. Okay, see, see the problem with doing that is that's been over, see that lacing, how it's been pulled down? That's what happens when you tilt afterwards. It's really not, oh, I just stuck my tool in it. All right, we're going again. Scrape that off. I'm going to use a little bit more paint because I'm not getting, I'm not getting full coverage. So I'm going to use a bit more of um, my puddle, my coloured paint. Um, yeah, because when I'm when I'm spinning, I'm not getting full coverage. Right, let's go. Put a little bit of pink down first, and then the green. So I'll use more. I, you still need to go by a third. Like you still need a third. If that's the size, you need a third on that side, a third of the paint, and then a third on that side. So I didn't have that. I didn't have enough paint, and I wasn't getting to the edge. So let's use a little bit more. This is looking better, isn't it? A little bit bigger. little blobs of green dark green on top a couple of little blobs of the purple matter on top and there's our pink okay so that's that's a better size isn't it now let's get my white don't use too much white because then you won't be able to spread it all and you have a lot of white in the center Push it out. Okay, that's covering almost the whole thing now, isn't it? I shouldn't have problems with getting these edges off because it's almost there really and the colors are looking good I've got my lime a little bit of pink in there not much but then the big one hasn't got much pink either so that was better bigger bigger puddle so if you're struggling you know to get your edges covered put a bigger puddle of um, colored paint on there and that should help because then you only need to really give it a couple of spins see that it's pretty much covered now and you had to give it one spin but I will do another one whoa it's because you guys aren't holding it for me hmm? <laughs> okay how's that looking nothing to hold on to it's so slippery so I don't like using the big cake stand when I'm only doing a little one like this because the cake stand is that big and it means that I get so much paint all over it it's just it's just messy and hard to clean up that that is really good that looks just like it's mum yes you do all right let's take you over I'm happy with that very very similar to the big one yeah happy with that look at the line tiny little bit of pink through there again the pink didn't show up very much uh, the other colors did take over so when you're done don't do what I just did on the previous one and start tilting because all you're going to do is um, overstretch that lacing that's already there so yeah just keep it like that don't tilt it anymore all right Oh, I'm happy with those two. 
I don't know what to do with my next one. Or maybe the pale pink and lime, hey? Or is that going to be too similar? Let me get my gloves off and I'll take you down. And reuse these gloves. I didn't get them too messy, which is very nice. I'm only on 25 minutes. Woohoo! I think the last one was like 45 minutes. Okay. Look at that. See, they match quite nicely, don't they? And the big one's got a little bit more of the dark green on it. But the little one has still got the dark green. It's just not quite as abundant. Oops. Changed my colours there. Right, let's go in. That's my favourite. Look at that. Looks as if it's fluorescent. Lumicent. Lum... What's the word? <laughs> Luminous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really, really pretty lacing. And I have got lacing pretty much all the way around to the sides. So that green, it just looks amazing with the pink. Look at that. Just amazing. Love that lacing. Now this is the two to one. It's stronger lacing. It's a bit thicker. It stays in its shape. It doesn't stretch out too much and dissolve. You know how sometimes it dissolves when it's too thin and it just kind of vanishes? There's the little one. Still got some dark green popping through there. Not a lot, but it is there. It's popping through. So yeah, happy with those ones. Lovely set. Alrighty, what's next? Let me know what colours you want, guys. No one's been telling me. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, I'm on under half an hour. Woohoo! Great. All right. Um, I'm going to get cleaned up and do the next one. And uh, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.